let's begin this lesson by defining another React function component. So right below my my header component, I'll define another constant called my link. And this will similarly be a function that returns JSX. And once again, that's all that a component is. In here, we can return a basic hyperlink. So inside the body of the function, I'll just return an A tag. And inside it, I'll put some text like go to Wikipedia. So you might be curious, in the real world, if we were writing this in an HTML file, we would provide the A tag with various attributes like href to provide the URL where this link would lead to. So how does this work in JSX? Well, as it turns out, it works the exact same way. We simply write the attributes in line, right? So for example, right here, I can add an href and I can say that this link should go to https www.wikipedia.org. And as another example, I can add, let's say the target attribute. And if I set that to a string of underscore blank, that will force the URL to be opened in a new tab in your browser. Now, these are not React functionalities. These are basic hyperlink functionalities or anchor tag functionalities in your browser. The takeaway though, is that the syntax looks exactly the same in JSX. Babel once again knows how to transpile this to the correct uh, equivalent a JavaScript code in the React library that will eventually create this actual hyperlink uh, on the screen. To be more specific though, because I do want to be very careful here, we have not actually created this component yet. Uh, it's kind of analogous to the distinction between defining a function versus running it. When we are defining a functional component here, we are defining a blueprint, uh, a, a recipe, if you will, that will produce some JSX. But just because we've defined a my header and my link function or equivalently my header and my link components doesn't mean that we have rendered them yet or equivalently doesn't mean that we have called or invoked these functions yet. We are just defining these components that can become real world elements rendered onto our DOM, but simply defining a function does not inherently execute the logic within it. That's the exact same way it works in regular JavaScript. And that's the exact same way it works whenever we return JSX, right? This logic hasn't actually executed until we invoke the my link function, or in other words, until we render the my link component. This is just a blueprint. This is a template for some chunk of the user interface, but it is not yet part of our interface necessarily. All right, that's all there is to cover in this lesson, and I will see you in the next one.